Finally, the break is over and we go into the first winner bracket semi-final. This is the decision number one. One of those two players will go to China alongside Foggy, Sonic and us. So who's it gonna be? Either Hawk or Starshape. We have the bracket here for you guys. So far, Starshape defeated Night End 2 to 1. Hawk had to face Todd in a long and very, very close human mirror, except the third game. Also 2 1. So no one of them is undefeated. Both have cracks in their shield. But who will take the two maps and who will go to China? For Hawk, it would be the third GCS, I guess. Went to two uh, WCAs, but not too successful at the gold championship series yet so checking the resources here uh, it's a little different at the moment difficult i mean okay things should be right and the colors are right as well just have to adjust the races and then we're fine of course hawk in red representing russia in the upper right of Amazonia. There we go. And star shaped from Sweden in the bottom left in teal. So, Keeper of the Grove first. Archer opening, creeping to level 2, and then what? Hawk on the other side. Archmage opening is the key play on AZ. You can't go Mountain King here. A player's force is under attack. <laughs> So, Archmage opening, and then what? That's the big question. Um, how will he respond to the harass, and will he expand? As I said before, I don't think expansions work on AZ anymore for human. Oh, sorry for the hiccup. It's just too much potential to get harassed with Treants and Entangle, and whatever. Huntress, most likely. So this is level 2, instant Huntress transition, no second engine of war yet. And here, of course, level 2 as well with the Archmage. Oh, did not deny anything, I guess. Not the greatest inventory for Hawk. Pretty good inventory for the Keeper. With four Treants now, sec... Second engine of war not in sight. Players' forces are under attack. And Hawk now what? Going for the shop. Risky play. But alright. Shop creep, a little romantic style. And suggesting that Hawk is not going for an expansion. Otherwise he would be going to his natural. Which is a wise thing to do. But on the other side, the Keeper is leveling as well with a Claws of Attack. This item spot here got changed from Lightning Shield, Wand of Illusion to, like, Claws, Gloves, Circlet, whatnot. And this is not Mass Huntress. This is just Solo Huntress, four star shaped. First time, I guess. A player's forces are under attack. And Hawk goes over. Here's the Tier 2 tech. Rifleman will be coming. No blacksmith yet. No level 3 either. But he will cancel this moon. Well, a little too late for the surround here. And that's an easy cancel. Good control by Hawk. Like forcing a response from his opponent to come back. Even the town portal. And he doesn't get the taskmaster. He got level 3. But the item is still up for grabs. Level 2 entangle or level 1? Level 2. Okay. Dismissing the strength of the level 2 treants. A player's forces are under attack. No surround really, but good damage. There is a lightning shield, but against Night Elf you can't really use that, I guess. On the Mountain King that would be nice. And he forces the TP out as well, with the footman still in the base, hunting for some wisps, but not really putting in the damage. 60% tier 2 tech done. He's even faster than Hawk, which is interesting. Going for the blacksmith, so no early uh, rifleman. One footman died here, I think. Oh, the second one. That's, of course, brilliant for the keeper. And I think a little mistake by Hawk. 
to not include the footman into the town portal. Two footmen down. Good experience for the keeper, but the null went to Hawk for circle it. Why no Mountain King? The creep spots here are way too hard for a Mountain King. You need the water elementals. So both without a town portal now. This will of course be worse for Hawk as there is no Mountain King yet. Alchemist second. Very strong push coming in I fear. Uh, 31 supply. Tier 2 is done. No tier 2 buildings though. So he continues to build Huntress I guess once he has the gold again. And Hawk wanting to build the, uh, to kill the Murdoch Nightcrawler. First Rifleman is out. That's important. Tower is up as well. He's going Mountain King. Giving more experience to Starshade. So good Night Elf map control. But the longer the tech is up, the better it is for Hawk, I guess. As long as there is no expansion. And there is no expansion. Not even in the works. Ancient of Lore here now. First time we've seen Ancient of Lore by Starshape this tournament. And Hawk is just gathering forces at this point, waiting for the Mountain King, waiting for the casters, or oh, calling Militia. He should not start any creeping right here because Starshape is keeping tabs. Here's another Sentinel. Does he have a Sentinel in the base somewhere? There it is, so he knows what's up. With a Stormbolt, he gets one kill for free. Two Water Elementals, he has Dust. Does he know that the Night Elf is here? What the hell? Did he not know? Or does he not care? That's the question. Nice Acid Bomb into the Militia, has to send them away immediately. 42 out of 42 supply, a little stuck as Hawk. Acid Bomb was strong and Tangle is coming in. Mountain King not that tanky on level 1. Against those two spells. Only... Oh, next long range Stormbolt. Has to use a potion here but so much pressure on this Mountain King. He just has to run away. But there's another Entangle. There's so much more Entangle. Long range and there's nothing to heal him. Except this Priest but that's not enough as the Alchemist is hitting another Acid Bomb. Uses the mana. Wow lols! Is it enough really? No way. Oh, this little pigeon. Bites him in the neck until the Mountain King is dead. There was another Entangle as well. Can he get the revenge kill without a Stormbolt? I doubt it. And the Alchemist is getting away and the Keeper as well. Good opening. Good early mid-game. Four star-shaped. He lost a lot of Huntress though, right? One is still up. He's only at 29 supply. Going for the heroes now. The Alchemist is really in trouble. Has to be sent back. So Hawk with a strong army. But with a hero loss. Okay, I didn't see that so many Huntress are dead. That basically every Huntress is dead. So it's still winnable. Like, easily winnable for Hawk. We have double Ancient of Lore Mass Dryads. Nice to spell, of course, against the Water Elementals. Mountain King is back. And I guess there's a push coming soon for Hawk. Against pretty much nothing. Of Star Shaped. He has 300 gold still. And bears. Wow. No mountain giants but bears. That's interesting. Level 4. And the engine of war is falling. Very good timing for Hawk. To go for this before the bear tech is finished before tier 3 is even finished no or it will have reju that will help this bill coming for the entangle and tree and more and more riflemen there's going to be a lot of riflemen a player's forces are under attack this hero kill man stopped hawk for quite a while and bought starship a lot of time so he's getting level 4, he's getting level 2 Treants, which will help a lot against Rifleman. But, as I said, there is going to be Dispel soon. Two Priests only, but Hawk is staying in no upkeep. Get more upgrades. Not wasting anything to tax. It's going to be 2-0 here. Mountain King getting solo experience. And, well, the Scourge Bone Champs will end up in the shop. 
More creeping. This time for level 4. And getting close to level 3 on this... Wow. Red spot creep? That's fast. Well, apparently it works with the rifleman. I don't know why he knows that Starship is on the other side of the map. Expecting expansion. Oh, Legion Doomhorn. That's so nice. For kiting, this is excellent. 2-0 is finished in a bit. And more priests for the spell. Hawk with a pretty much perfect 50 supply army. Starship is gearing up as well with three bears. The bears are weaker than they were prior to patch 1.3. And here we go. Thus, Hawk has the upper hand in supply. 10 supply lead. Nice Stormbolt as well on level 2. Scroll of the Beast. Oh yeah, baby. That's exactly what you need. Fighting the Treans in the north. That's okay. The Militia will soak up more damage. Star Sight was going for Hero Focus only, but there is a, an Invo Potion and a Heal Scroll as well. Archmage has a second Heal Scroll. Oh man, this Chemical Rage. Not really used that well. Not finding the targets. And again, Hawk is winning this fight. Seemingly easy. Star Shaped again losing everything except one bear. He lost... 20 supply right there. A player's forces are under attack. And the hero levels of Hawk are getting better and better and better. Like 5 4 around the corner, second red spot, expo coming up, great. Yeah, Hawk. The only problem that Hawk had Was the Mountain King lost that delayed his timing? Oh my god, Warsong Battle Drums. 2-0 upgrade and the Warsong Battle Drums? Oh yeah, baby. I still wonder why no Mountain Giants. They're perfect against ca uh, Rifle Casters. Not used though. Hawk is breaking upkeep with a tier 2 expansion and Star Shape needs a miracle. We do have a Zeppelin. It's going for, well, the lumber workers, but there is 730 lumber. But this is what he has to do. Uh, flying in between main base and expansion caused some trouble. Spam treants, I mean, why not? Can't load in a stunned unit. Well, all right. There is a lot of anti-air, so Starship has to be careful to not fly in range. But there's no counter expansion at sight. He's just waiting to get back to 50 and then hope for a good position, maybe. But why should Hawk lead, uh, leave his base now, except if there's an expansion? He can just sit in his base, enjoy life in wealth. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, he has a Zeppelin himself to see what's going on. Sweet. Level 5 and 4. <laughs> it's so sick. 4 and 3 on the other side. But this expansion is the key. And here we have vision. And we have slow. But not the range. A player's forces are I think transitioning into Mountain Giants now is too late. Just costs too much with the upgrades. <laughs> Can reach for the slow, but nothing else. It's a little unfortunate. He can't do anything. The entire army is here. And it's not too many shots, man. Takes extra damage from piercing, so don't get in range of the rifleman. Oh, my upgrade. Star-shaped. 
reveal now. There's no big transition. The only thing that Hawk might fear is mountain giants, like even chimeras, which are possible to build without an engine of wind now. Could do it. A player's forces are I mean, there's so many riflemen. Should be easy. Dryad kill a big water elemental. And spreading their poison. Which is also a nice idea to get back into this game, but... He can just respond with half of his army. The other half is responding to this. So TP home from this. Yeah, can't escape. Loses one bear. Oh no, escapes the fireball. With literally one HP. Oh, three HP. Daytime, they don't regenerate right there. So 1-0 upgrades. Dryads, not a single... Ah, one single kill. Second one right now. That didn't cause too much trouble. And now, ah, uh, can't be slowed. Can't just run away. Should be fine. Hawk could just go for tier 3. Ah, oh, he has no lumber. So at least... There's that. To one upgrade already. These auras are so nice. Warsong, Battle, and Legion do one. Two of the best auras in the entire game. So now star-shaped. 62 supply against 74. Again a heal scroll, double heal scroll, and double invul. On star-shaped side, nothing. Just a little bit on the alchemist, but all right. If you can kite and reach, like this army is perfect for kiting. These items are perfect for kiting. Heal scroll number one, using the clap, killing the bear seemingly with ease. Even the shredder coming into the fight, more and more tree ends, but there should be more to spell. Yes, there is. Invo potion on the mountain king once again. It's a lot of hero focus on star-shaped side, but he's losing unit after unit after unit. Same can't be said about Hawk, no. Still at 74. And Tangle on the Mountain King, but no. No, no, no. There is another invul. Hawk is marching forward with still a 77 supply army. And this is very, very one-sided at this point. Oh, <laughs> level 5. Oh! Getting another hero kill, maybe? No. The Alchemist dies first. Nicely done by Hawk. Saving his Mountain King also against the Keeper. GG. Sweden taps out for once. And this is the 1 0 lead for Hawk and one map away. One map away from China. where he is, uh, where we all expected him. And I really hope that he puts in a little more work once he qualifies. But this is star-shaped map choice. It was already a great Night Elf map, also a great Keeper map, but he couldn't really bring it to the table, right? After this first fight that I misjudged at the very first, he lost so many hunts there. If he's not losing that many hunts there and gets the Mountain King, Pretty sure he can dominate that game in the long run, but that was just a horrible, horrible fight there. Do we have a result from the other game in the lower bracket? It should be Cash versus Maru. It's 1-0 for Cash there. This game still exists and it has tournaments. Oh, hell yeah, do we have tournaments almost every day here on this very channel. At least, at the very least, four, four times a week. And uh, you're joining at the right time, man. One month away is the World Championship of Warcraft, the WGL. <coughs> and there we go, map number two between these two players. Hawk with match points. Hawk with China points. 
so far from Europe, Foggy and Sonic qualified. Hawk could be the first Russian. Mm, resources are correct. Nice. So Starshape would drop down to the lower bracket. His chances are not over. He would drop into the lower bracket round two. After being defeated in the lower bracket round one last time. By Cash, actually. Could be a rematch, I think. I'm not sure. Could be. So there will be a little spike as I'm tapping out real quick to pop out the chat. But we're back already. So last refuge it is. In the bottom left we have Hawk. Going for a normal build here. Could be a Mountain King. And in the upper right, Star Shaped with an Engine of War. Here also normal build and the Keeper of the Growth. That was to be expected. Archmage by Hawk. Also expectable. So, Last Refuge has a decent expansion, I think, for Hawk. But do you want that really against the Keeper? I don't know. Uh, we'll start... Like, level 2 is a little further away. So it's not possible to go, like... Instant harass. I guess you could do that. But you're kind of relying on some kills then. I think you should creep up to level 2 here at the green spot. And then harass. That would give uh, Hawk some time though. <laughs> so both parties start to creep. Fairly easy. Close of attack for the Keeper is always nice. He starts with Treant, so he's very, very sure that he can reach level 2 before being harassed, which against an Archmage is fair, I guess. Yeah, I don't think you can give Hawk too much time. Then he's just too good. And he didn't try to expand, like Starshade, the entire time. Cash 2-0. Thank you, Stoker. So, Maru is out, but great for him um, to take part in this tournament. Thanks for participating, man. So, in case you're late to the party, if Hawk wins this, he is one of five Europeans to go to the World Championship in late November in China. That's interesting, man. Mercenary camp creep by Hawk early. To get a little more piercing damage, obviously, against Hunts. But is there a Hunter's Hall? Yes, there is. And a tier 2 tech. So again, Star Shape not playing the double engine of war expansion style. But okay, here's the Arras on level 2. Not a big fan of not expanding. Really. Second engine of war here. So, okay. I, like, tech double engine of war. Huh. Not a big fan, to be honest. Thank you, the brass man, for the 10 month Please resub. Be to walk, uh, back to Warcraft. Best way to spend my weekend. Thank you very much, man. More people should be like you. So, he prevents the Archmage from reaching level 3. That's good. And he gets the second engine of war, but all the great night elves, I'd say, Moon, Foggy, Lawliot, Colorful, um, would expand behind it. Or build the second engine of war a little earlier to have earlier Huntress. But in the end, looks good for Hawk. He's not losing too much. He has level 3, prevents level 3 on the Keeper, um, does not lose too many units here at all. And the Huntress pressure isn't too much. So now, of course, it's Starshape's uh, time to shine. He's kind of reliant on the Keeper Alchemist Mass Hunts push, and he's preparing for that. He should I'll build another Moon Well somewhere, attack. I guess. Otherwise, the Alchemist will just make him supply stuck. Oh, 
another Shadow Priest. Is that the second one? Yeah. Double Dispel, man. That's really good for Hawk. He seems to have all the strings in his hand. Which is really cool. Entangled should be AoE. Yeah! <laughs> Absolutely. Great idea. So he's going to the tavern. He's getting the alchemist who's just finishing his drink. More hunters coming. What can he do? I think there are wisps coming. No, right? So not a tower push, really. Hawk is creeping this very carefully. But leaving the Ogre Magi to Star Shade, which is a, that's what Night Elves do, really. On this map, stealing this spot. And this time it's a one of mana stealing. Can be nice, but in general, it's not the greatest item in the world. But with the first rifleman and three piercing mercenaries, piercing damage mercenaries, and the water elemental level two, Hawk should be able to defend this easily. He even has time for a mountain king. Going for arcane sanctum now. Up the upgrade just finished? No, I just uh, thought there was a fire in the forge. Keeper finally level three, but that takes way too much time. He got two big consumables though, and that is big. Potion of Greater Mana this time, that's super helpful. Engine of Wonders for clarities and a staff. But in general, man, Star Shaped, I feel, is not using the Keeper and Hunts to the degree which is like... To a degree that Moon takes it or Foggy takes it. Um, with the clarities early, with the expansion in the back. With stuff like that. So he's not using the gifted map control that he gets with the keeper and hunts to get that exp uh, that advantage. Wand of the wind can be a nice uh, force around. Maybe it can be nice. A player's forces are under attack. There's no wisp on the map at all. I don't even see sentinels, right? It's a little bad that we don't have little dots where sentinels are dropped, but I don't see a single one on the map. Okay, glaive throwers. Do they have vocal blades already? Doesn't seem like it. Not too sure. claims the map control for him with all the rifle damage that intensifies here are under with 50 supply there's not much that star shape does sorry for this little hiccup had to read something I'm a little confused here because people say if he wins this match, he's not qualified, but he is qualified. If he makes it to the winner bracket final, he's top three at least. A player's forces are under attack. And that's what you need here to go to China. Level four Archmage, so much like double heal scroll, super tanky level three Mountain King. He's safe with the invul and the Archmage as well. That is a lot of damage. On the glaive throwers, though. 1 0 upgrade. Creeping is easy. Finally, a counter ex uh, ex an expansion attempt here. In my opinion, too late, but he does have a good army now. Oh, and there was an aura. Unholy aura this time for Star Shape. On the other side, Warsong Battle Drums for Hawk again. Same items, actually. Very, very rare. What are the odds?
But this is great to have the unholy aura and more movement speed on the glaive throwers to be safe. But of course 10% damage to suit the riflemen as well, plus two on every single one of them. A town is under siege. And Hawk scouts this. That's exactly what he needs. Like good scouting. Sends two footmen, that's enough. Very early scout. And again, only Treants level one. Wow, how he blasts these casters. <laughs> that was pretty sick. Wand of the Wind used against the Glaive Throwers. TP out by Star Shape. Good reaction by Hawk to uh, delay the fight here, to not lose too much. Because he kind of was surprised, I guess, by the amount of Glaive Thrower and the damage. And Star Shape, no tier 2 buildings. Only Engine of War, more Glaive Throwers, Tree of Life now, second attempt, and Hawk sends back the Footman. Did quite some damage, but doesn't want to lose those Footmen for free. Keeper 4, Tree and 2 is important, especially against Glaive Throwers. Alchemist close to 4 as well, 2-0 on the Glaive Throwers now. Average damage of like 76, 77. A player's forces are under attack. <laughs> okay, sense in militia. Does he want to tower this expo? Well, there's a backup plan for Star Shaped. I really like that choice. Lots of dispel against the tree. And Star Shaped is ready though, with mercenaries on his own side. 61 supply for Star Shaped. 60 supply for Hawk. Is this the push to Shanghai? Does he have a solution for this much damage? They are super squishy. If he reaches the Glaive Throwers, they will most likely be dead. But until then, they do a lot of damage. Alchemist level 4. You see how the casts are just exploding. So here we go. First Glaive Thrower dead. Alchemist, once again, not connecting really. Going for the Mountain King. The hero focus that we've seen on AZ already. This time it works a little better, but still no kill. And Starship is losing so much again. It's easy, like 15 supply gone already. The meat shield is almost gone. The expansion is towered here by the workers. And this is almost the perfect position for Hawk in that show. Well, against the Glaive Throwers, maybe not. Close to level 5 AM. So here we go. What can he do against this? Against the level. This is so key. This big ass water elemental is the key against these glaive throwers, as he doesn't have much dispel. No dryads. He can't send in the wisps all the time. Has no control over the mercenary camp anymore. And now the towers are up. Only scout towers, though, because he has no lumber mill. All right. But this expo is running. Starship is distracting a lot. A town is under siege. And is mining there. He doesn't even... Oh, wow. Expanding right in his face. Hawk super confident now to win this thing. This expo was not mining at all, by the way. Not a single dime. And Hawk is not scouting the expansion as it seems. But what is star-shaped solution... He can't fight this with this army, with only tier 1. The riflemen, if in a fight, wreck everything. But alright, maybe he can delay that. For example, by pushing the base, but then he exposes his own base, loses the production building. Everything is so vulnerable for Star Shape now, and he has to make all the way through. There's still the big mana. And he wins the base race. That's for sure. So this will force a reaction. 
Does he have a town portal? I think so. So this will force a reaction. Starshape will move back as well. And then he can kick this expansion, right? I think that's the thinking here. But he is on the high ground. Pretty protected. But it's Glaive Throws only. Like two Huntress. But what are they worth here? Vorpal Blade's so good. Look at this damage. It's ridiculous. Is that a tier 3 tech? No. Not at all. Town is under siege. Hawk steals the Zeppelin. I like that one. Can't save the Glaive Throwers that easy. Remo, by the way, had to tap. There's uh, no internet for him this evening. Whoa, this AoE in a line. Hawk is trying to break this, but is that really necessary? Archmage drops, Water Elemental drops there as well. Nicely uh, used the Zeppelin here. Oh my god, it was worth it. Four Glaive kills. Level four and a half. And his own expo is running. Star shape. Overstaying is welcome. I think when Hawk TPs in, you should TP immediately. Back home. Rush the expo with your 15 glaive throwers or whatever that was. A player's forces are under attack. Hound is under siege. And now he knows this expo. That took some time, <laughs> but okay, apparently Hawk was faster, or too fast for this. Archmage no mana after this one though, but another dead Glaive Thrower. Only 58, nice staff now. No TP anymore though. And he has 300, 400 gold, but... Oh, they're lined up perfectly, master spell here. He doesn't have... Oh my god, he's losing so many Glaive Throwers again. Star shaped is losing again 10 supply in like three seconds. Expo is still running. Siege. Oh, look Play at this. The Zapper time. And they're going to the right hand side of Last Refuge. Does he have Nature's Blessing? Nope. So that's gonna be a kill if my crude correctly. If the one Zapper doesn't detonate against the other. And... Oh, more engines of war. Let's see, he's microing them. Boom, number one. Boom, number two. Expo gone. And he saw the proxy engines of war. So the jig... Uh, the jig is up. The jig is up. <laughs> and once again going for the hero kill on the Mountain King. Which does not work at all. This is way too much damage! Executes the Keeper, GG! Hawk is going to China, Hawk is going to Shanghai, Hawk is the third human participating in WGL, the fourth human actually, participating in WGL Winter 2018 after TH, Infi, Chimiko, now him. Two all victory, pretty clear. Um, pretty easy for his side. Hawk 2-0 here over star shape. That was to be expected on paper. Hawk not disappointing here after uh, the last qualifier. We were all questioning, is he still good enough? Is Ewan still good enough? But yeah, he is. 2-1 over Todd. 2-0 over star shaped. Okay, so Hawk is the first one. And we have another winner bracket semi-final for you. Enter versus Neutron. Will another Russian qualify or is it gonna be the first German since WCA 2015 that we sent to China in uh, yeah, the history of yaws and hate, love, anger? Could be Enter. Enter versus Neutron coming up. Star shape down to the lower bracket. Will face Cash, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Night End versus Tata streamed at high two Chaco, but we will stay where the decisions will be made. Enter versus Neutron, best of three, two maps to China. Stay tuned. <laughs>